Hi guys, it's Middle Jury. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY desk decor slash tour slash makeover video. Basically, my desk area and what I did with it. But first, I'm going to show you guys my DIYs I made within my desk area. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. DIY is super simple, it's just creating your own calendar with chalkboard stickers for your desk. Materials include chalkboard stickers, scissors, hole puncher, and a chalk marker. The first thing you want to do is cut out a total of 14 rectangles, and then you want to hole punch each and every one of them. Number 4 rectangles 0 to 3, while the remaining 10 will be numbered 0 to 9. Once I finished, I attached clothespins on my grid wall and then put the current date. I created extra rectangles where I put the current month and the current year. And what you're going to do is just simply change the numbers every time it's a new date. Even though this is super simple, I think this is a great way to just keep track with what day it is. The next DIY was actually from an activity I did from school. It's just identifying what your core values are. I linked down below 36 core value cards and what you want to do is print and cut them out. Set aside 10 values that are important to you and then reduce it to 5. And then choose your top 3 values. You can even make your own. At the end, summarize your core values in a couple of sentences to create a mission statement. For your life and or for your education. I know this might sound corny to some of you, but knowing them is very beneficial because you understand yourself better, help you focus and energize you and those around you. It helps you set short and long-term goals. So what I did was print a pink dot background and do some hand calligraphy of my core values. And they are creativity, freedom, and dedication. My mission statement was to spread my creativity that I'm dedicated to with no limits. After I finished writing, I framed it and placed it on my grid wall. And now I always see my core values every time I'm at my desk area. This next DIY is inspired from an Urban Outfitters Crystal Quartz mobile I saw online. Materials include jewelry pliers, measuring tape, coarse crystals, two jump rings, clear stretch cord, and silver beading wire. The first thing you want to do is order your crystals from smallest to largest with a total of 7 crystals. Take the silver beading wire and measure a total of 3 inches and then insert it in your hole and bend the wire up. And what you want to do is carefully twist the wire with the jewelry pliers to make it secure. That way we can make a loop with your fingers or your jewelry pliers. And then just wrap the excess around the loop to secure it. Now measure 2 inches from the first crystal to the jump ring. And then add an extra 5 inches, so I'm going to cut a total of 7 inches of stretch cord. Tie the stretch cord around the loop with 3 knots and make sure to pull tightly. For the next couple of crystals, you want to increase an inch increment. So the next one will have 8 inches, while the last crystal will have 13 inches of stretch cord. Next, you want to open your jump ring and insert the first crystal stretch cord and then measure a total of 2 inches like we did before, just to start it off. And then you're going to tie a knot right above the jump ring just so it will be secure and not fall off. And then once you're done with all of that, for each and every one, I realized I should do one for the outside of the jump ring, so that's what I did. I tied a knot, then it looked like two knots right between the jump ring, and then carefully pull it tightly. After you finish, tie a knot with all of the excess stretch cord, and don't forget to pull very tightly to secure it. And then get the second tiny jump ring and tie another knot. To make it easier, I taped around the loose ends of the stretch cord and tied it tight. After I did that, I cut off the excess. I actually put another keychain ring holder so I could just hook it a lot easier to things. I just used my jewelry pliers to close it tightly and attach it as well. And now you're done with your new crystal quartz mobile. 
I think this is such a gorgeous DIY, especially since it can be easily done by yourself. You can hook this on anywhere in your room or house and it'll just make it look so pretty and magical. So moving on to my whole desk makeover story, I used to use my desk area as an office slash vanity desk area and toward the end of my school year I realized that, that was just not functional at all. I, before I had jewelry all over this left corner and then just more jewelry on my right corner with a little tiny vanity mirror but I had a really big mirror on the wall anyway so I didn't really it didn't really make any sense to me. Now I have a really cute gridded wall decor. An overview, I have on the left corner, I have this cute little base pot thing I got from Walmart for only $5 and it just holds my little technology wires. Right next to it is my little cute succulent in my cute little buffalo vase I got from TomTop. And I got this little succulent from Ikea. The right of my corner, I have this little cacti I got from Home Depot. And then this little candle vase I got from Goodwill, which was only like a dollar. And then I got this cute little, I keep saying cute little, <sighs> teardrop shaped air diffuser from, I got from TomTop. I have my laptop, and then I have my mouse pad, and then I have my mouse. And that's basically everything on my desk. Not much to it. I'm so, so glad that it's decluttered. I'm not really a fan of having pencils and staplers on my desk area. I'd rather have them on a shelf, which they are in this little wire basket right here. I just have my scissors, my hole puncher, and then my stapler in this wire basket I got from the thrift store. The second shelf, another kind of mesh wire cup where I just put all of my pens and pencils. Then right under it is this really cute notepad I got from TJ Maxx for only about $3 and it's this marble design and it's magnetic at the edge of the notebook and it just pops out. I have this cute little notepad. Moving on to my grid decor, I am so in love with it. I recently just made this. I am very much into plants these days. I have a bunch on my windowsill. There's plants there, there's plants there, and then it's just everywhere. My little air plants. I have nine air plants and they're about like two to four dollars each. If you go, I go to Wegmans and I go to my local nursery. Over to the left, I have this cute little anthropology bag. And I really like the design of the bag, so I just made it like a little design in the back. And then I just put little photo booths of my boyfriend and friends and family. And then to the left, this is actually a picture from an Urban Outfitters wall art. I saw this from Vivian Vo Farmer's room tour and I just totally loved the picture but I could not find the picture online where it's just alone so I had to copy and paste it and then edit it and crop it and whatever. And I just printed it out and put it inside this really cute um, Target dollar photo frame. And then I just printed these two pictures right out of Google to have this other picture frame with my core values and, and then these two chalk stickers where I write with chalk. I have this sticker from Brandy Melbell. It says okay but first coffee but then I put a little white sticker on it and cross it out and put tea because I am not a coffee drinker. I am a tea drinker. I have more photo booth strips and I have a cute little birthday card that my sister got me. I think this is the cutest card ever. Oops. <laughs> then I attached this Target box I got for like a dollar, I think, from the dollar section. And I just put my essential oils where I use for my air diffuser. I have this wire from my desk lamp that I got from Target as well. But I really hate how very visible. I didn't want to make a hole in my wall just to hide a simple wire. So I just 
made this mobile crystal quartz mobile that is inspired from an Urban Outfitters mobile, which is like thirty-two dollars. Then I got this little metric ornament from Target for only three dollars during Christmas time. Last thing on my grid is I just put my sunglasses and glasses. It's five o'clock now. I've probably been talking forever, but I'm really happy with my desk area right now because I'm a lot more inspired to do work on my desk. I look at my desk background and it's just really relaxing and really stress-free. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those DIY desk decor ideas, a desk makeover, and then finally a desk tour in one whole video. If you guys want a whole room tour before I move to Boston, I will do that. Just comment down below. But don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!